Welcome back, one and all, to Bronze League Legends. That's right, we are back for the best in Age of Empires 4 action. And we are here with a French versus all the Dragon game. First of all, we've got Chihuahua on the French who micros his villagers one by one because each of your people <laughs> deserve individual respect. Oh my God, this is already delivering. I don't think I've ever seen someone... I don't think in all my games casting, I've ever seen someone open the game like this. This is truly a gift. Oh my god. And they all have different tasks. A mining camp, a mining camp, a miller house, and a lumber camp. And the final person will <laughs> go across for berries. Welcome to the peak Age of Empires for action. On the other side of this, we've got Kratos on Order of the Dragon. They're a little bit more condensed. Their villages, they partner up, okay? You've got um, Ted and Marie, Bill and John, and finally um, Rory and Hansel? I don't know. I don't know what his name is. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. If you guys are tuning in for the first time, this is our low elo series for Age of Empires 4. And boy, oh boy, have we dug deep here. This game, these two people, they are 323 elo for Kratos and 261 elo, respectively, for Chihuahua. So combined... They have less elo than I think the lowest we've cast so far. This is truly the most bronze of bronze league legends. And I am so here for it. I just... <laughs> Chihuahua, once again, making sure his villagers have their, their individual tasks in life. This man will tend to the berries until the day he dies. We haven't... Has he even moved out for sheep yet? Okay, he has. He just missed a bunch on the way. Because, you know, here's the thing. Like, it... These scouts, they got to ride fast. They have their orders. They're given their directions. They are not allowed to shift off of their given path. I understand and respect it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kratos is like, corner's good. I like corner. Must take corner. Yeah. What are you... Timmy here, just staring off into the abyss. He's like, I'm sick of Gorge. We always play on Gorge. Can we maybe play on like a different... Okay, now I'll go back to putting houses. And now we're going to start spamming them up. Oh, man. So just a reminder of like, what we do with this series. Like This is already entertaining. We're having a good laugh. It's a little bit maybe teasing here or there. Um, but it's also a good educational moment <laughs> on maybe how to not optimally layer your base. These guys are just having fun. They're enjoying the experience. But I think maybe lesson one, kind of obvious, probably don't, <laughs> probably don't idle, idle your villagers one by one into their tasks. Drag and select is very good here, but I think Chihuahua may be dealing with one of those uh, those old Microsoft ballpoint mice, so he doesn't fully trust dragging. Oh, but let's speed this up a little bit in the other game. I'm curious who's going to make it first. I'm outraged that it's not even, by the way, Chihuahua. It needs to be an equal amount. Now, someone I have noticed about Chihuahua, I haven't actually watched their games in detail, but someone I have noticed uh, with their gathering they tend to gather more stone than the next 10 bronze players combined. And I'm actually seeing exactly why. Chihuahua almost exclusively plays the French, and they always seem to just have their stone gathering trending upwards. They are always gathering stone. So if there is a point in this game where Chihuahua is not gathering stone, I would be heavily surprised. And no, they are making villages occasionally, <laughs> just not very often. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, Chihuahua's approach seems to be spot a new resource, build a new villager, gather a new resource. So here we go. Spots a new resource, spawns a new villager. <laughs> In this case, it's going to be making farms. Dude, understandable. Okay, I remember when I played Age of Empires 2 and 1, anyone else feel this way? I was like, oh man, like finite food, don't have to worry about that. I'll drop a farm and then I'll never have to look back at it. Chihuahua's one of those players. You know, you could give a man a fish, or you could teach them to fish. Or in this case, you could give a man a loaf of bread, or you could teach them to bake. Chihuahua is teaching people to bake right now. And I'm wondering what we're going to have cooking up in the feudal age here. <laughs> this is already fantastic. I love that Chihuahua is playing more pocket ecos than most high-level players. 
and he has got forestry coming in because of course you know you gotta you gotta make sure that your people's axes are, are sharp enough to chop down those trees you don't want wasting time not gathering resources chihuahua's got it all sword no chamber of commerce though i'm a little bit heartbroken interesting placement for the school of cavalry though has also set up a rax not someone we see too often out of french i think a lot of french players are still going archers then again okay hear me out we have seen some players recently switching from archer night comps into spear night comps. Maybe they learned that from Chihuahua. Maybe our pros have already glanced at the pure powerhouse that is Chihuahua before we ever did. And Kratos has set up a market play. Wait, wait, is he going to trade as the Order of the Dragon? I mean, dude, it makes sense. You guys could literally make so much money on the black market selling dragon eggs. Just do it. All right, here we go. Dragon Edge are going to be pumped soon. He's actually trading as Order of the Dragon. I <laughs> because it makes sense if you think about it, guys. This is a Sith that loves gold. They love the feel of it, the touch of it, the smell of it. So, of course, you've got to gather gold as Order of the Dragon. Meanwhile, we've got the classic build all your houses along the edge of the map. Makes sense, right? You don't want your houses to die, so you want them as far away from your opponent as possible. And then that leaves more room to build production ahead of this. On top of that, it does make for a very pretty looking uh, little housing district, doesn't it? Almost feels like you should have a little beaten road up here. You know, people just walking down to tend to their daily duties on the farms, on the wood line. We've got a marketplace coming too from Chihuahua. It's not as optimal as what his opponent done. <laughs> he continues the trend. Another villager sent out to a task. Another one still to be sent out to another task. Chihuahua has got a villager on each of the outcroppings on his side. Or is going too soon, at least. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's fantastic. So, so here's the, it's interesting that someone's highlighting the housing on the edge of the map. We have seen a lot of this in Bronze League Legends games. I actually think a big part of it is because people don't want to get lost in their base, right? Like, a lot of low-level players don't use hotkeys very much. So if you're a high-level player, use hotkeys, right? You're used to just, like, pressing F1, maybe, to gather all your production buildings. Or if you're a high-level, you'll have on a specific keybind, like, you might control shift for this, and now you can just, like, oh, yep, there's my buildings, boom, 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 tab through. For low-level players, that's not the case. For a low-level player, they're probably clicking over an area and selecting the buildings. So you know what's annoying is, like, when you've got all these houses. Like, you know what I've done a lot is I was a player who would lose my blacksmiths and get confused. And I imagine I'm not the only person that had that issue, right? Like, hands up in the chat if you've had this before. You're like, where did I put my blacksmiths? And you check your guys like, well, I do have a blacksmith. But where is it? Well, if you're Chihuahua, you know exactly where it is. It's over in the military district. This is the living district. <laughs> he even leaves a builder there to always build. I love that Kratos has built archery. So, so Kratos wanted even more definition. Houses, military area, all on the edge of the map. Maybe this is just Kratos being the most sneaky person. He's like, I don't want them to know that I'm building archers against the French. And guess what? The French are building archers against you. Upgrade for Spearman coming in. Chihuahua now adding in the first military unit as the French at 11 and a half minutes. But you know what? His stone income sure looks good. <laughs> I just, I absolutely, I don't even think I've ever seen someone do this. This is legit the first time I've seen this in Age of Empires 4. And it is fantastic. I mean, it takes a while to return the 50 wood investment, but we're well past that period now, folks. <laughs> I'm going to leave on the two times here. Has he got wheelbarrow yet? No wheelbarrow coming out. Not Kratos, though. Kratos has the wheelbarrow. Basically has all the techs he needs. Chihuahua, I love this. It's only force, right? They only want to aggro. They're getting all their damage upgrades and anything that means war. Anything else? Eh, who cares? Love the fact that they also ended up getting forestry. They also got the level one wood tech, but they didn't get wheelbarrow. Look at this trade, guys. We're up to six traders already. Is there trade on the other side? Oh my god. Wait, is there? There's one trader. <laughs> it's not as impressive, admittedly. And he's also trading to the short distance, so... A little bit different. I mean, of course you need stone, guys. Like, what if the enemy comes at you with force? 
You know what will protect you forever? Stone walls. When was the last time you saw a bronzer build a, build a trebuchet straight away? It just doesn't happen. But look at this, Kratos. I mean, he's been... <laughs> I don't want to say he's been following a build order, but he's been doing... Like, he's he's researched the basics. He knows what he wants. It makes a lot of sense, right? HRE is rated as one of the easiest civs to get into the game with because of the fast castle builds. Order of the Dragon. A little bit more complicated, but same idea. Regnant's on the way up. Chihuahua on the other side of this. <laughs> look at this stone. He's now up to 1,400 stone. Oh my goodness. He's got a 10 eco lead, by the way. They, they, okay, they were a little bit slow on the villages. That was a bit sinful. But they've started to realize, okay, no, no, no. I'm not fighting right now, so I can micro each of my villages much quicker to their tasks. Much quicker to their tasks. Much quicker than... We've been here. We've been here a minute now. Much quicker to their tasks. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I don't know what he's going to do. This is going to be a, a, an information overload for Chihuahua. There it is. It's the Tech Up crew, of course. Chihuahua, he says, every person in my empire has a task. Something they must do. These are the builders. Remember, folks, we've got the builder of houses down here. These guys only allowed to build landmarks. So five villagers rushing up the guild hall. I still love how I say rushing up. <laughs> hey, man. He stacked them for it. They rushed it up. Here we go. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the map. Chihuahua. Oh, oh my god. He found the trade. He actually found the trade. And Kratos. He done the classic HRE greed strat. Nothing but prelates. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, why are the prelates not going yet? Oh, I guess like someone has to come by and give them all their tasks at once and then... They'll one by one go out on the map. But right now, one by one, the traders are going down. But Chihuahua's not going to stop there. He says, I like to gather from all my resources on the map. Do you too? You do! Twinsies! <laughs> Even with textiles, Kratos is going to lose all three of the villages there. Great strike so far by Chihuahua. Specialization of works and indication of advanced society. Of course, and we are in a high society here in the French kingdom. It only makes sense. Twirls the mustache. <laughs> He's covered over, almost 400 stone from this one. He's already exhausted this one. This one's next up on the chopping block. What we, we've already taken 400 stone from the corner. He has almost 2,000 stone sitting there right now. Chihuahua. He understands that kingdoms are built over time, not in a day. So he wants to make sure when it's time to build that kingdom, he's going to have the biggest load to just throw at the task. Make no mistake about it, folks. The Chihuahua is just getting all of the resources ready to build the Magano line. <laughs> Kratos. Wait, Kratos is actually prioritizing herbal medicine here. I mean... Actually, in fairness, it makes sense right now that that buffs 100% of his army. <laughs> but we're about to add new units in, right? Tech ups are coming through. So we're getting into the men at arms. He's also taking Dragonfire, which is interesting. I mean, Kratos is probably like, well, I mean, you know, spearmen, men at arms. They're all just people with melee. I'm sure they can all just get better torches too. Unfortunately, uh, Kratos, that's not the way that works. So it might be they're thinking about spears because they're up against knights. But meanwhile, on the other side of this, Chihuahua now also adding in men at arms. I still, I'm, still th I'm still so wrapped up on this. Great relic game right now for Kratos. Fourth one on the way home. So it looks like they might get a five relic game here. <laughs> I mean, they are actually prior on all the upgrades. Like Kratos literally doesn't have a standing unit right now. But <laughs> If you ever need... Oh my god, it's going to be Mass Lang's neck. <laughs> what? Dude, when your eco is that bulked that you queue up eight Lang's neck instantly alongside a bunch of archers and crossbows, you know you've been reserving a lot of resources. Oh my goodness. Meanwhile, Chihuahua on the other side. It looks like he's going Siege Workshop here. Wait, double Siege Workshop? I mean, there's no way this is a Ram Rush, right? <laughs> Now, you, right now, you look at this game like, oh, Kratos, he, he might have this in the bag. I mean, that that's 10 Langsnack. 10 gilded Langsnack, right? So, essentially 20 Langsnack. But hear me out, guys. 
How well do Langsnack do against castles? Because when we get those castles, when they show up, they're going to be mighty scary. We're now at almost 3,000 stone for Chihuahua. <laughs> I think he just needs to change his name to I Like Stone. It's kind of weird that he's called the Chihuahua and he's not obsessed with wood, right? Because like dogs and, and wood and fetch, right? But apparently this Chihuahua likes to, to fetch boulders. <laughs> it's just, he's going to find the trade again. So Kratos gets blocked out here. Starting to fall pretty heavily behind. He even gets the inspired warrior attack. Okay, hear me out, guys. I'm going to make a controversial statement. Bronze players are more military efficient than gold players because they get every upgrade. So when they build leaders like this, everything is there. That's... Checkmate, Goldies. Oh, boy. Chihuahua. He's going deeper. Unfortunately for him, there's no trades left to kill, right? I, okay, no, there's a few left. But wait, he's blocking them too. Oh, my God. Chihuahua is a force to be reckoned with right now. Kratos, look at the amount of lost v eco right now. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is I think that amount of lost eco can be equated in comparison to the amount of stone gathered by Chihuahua at this stage. Like, it's, it's weirdly more even than you'd think right now. Kratos, the army continues to build. He hasn't come out yet. You can tell Chihuahua is a French main, right? Like, they are... They get the idea of aggro in the map. And right now... Well, to, to, to summarize the aggro quite simply... That's, that's all I've got. That's pretty much the best way I can summarize it. Oh, he has got 13 other villages. Have, have they finished a task somewhere? I feel like the villagers must have finished their duties. <laughs> Wait, is it the traders again? He always has one trader idol. We know he has this idol because he's building houses. He ran out of gold. There it is. I mean, Chua was like, I don't need more gold. Me tech up soon. Tech feel good. <laughs> he has almost 4,000 stone. Oh my god. And I don't think he knows what the wonder button is. So I don't think that's why. Let's just go find another villager. Might have to slow this down soon. He's been raiding pretty well so far. What's the trade count up to as well? It's not great trade. He's got six. It's funny as well because if he traded to the north side. Oh, no, Kratos. He lost the marketplace. He hasn't rebuilt it. So trade is returning nothing now. Farms are coming out though. And Kratos, I mean, it's got to be said, if these two armies clashed, if both of them A-click in, Kratos wins, all right? That, that's not even close. These Langsnecked hit for 23 damage when they're not buffed. When they are buffed, 26. <laughs> okay, maybe send the full army. I'm not sure Chihuahua should be taking this fight. But Chihuahua, he, he, he's checked his history. Right? He's a big Age of Empires fan. He's a big history nerd. He's like, I've checked the, the Chronicles, the analogs. The Castle Age was a good time for the French. Order of the Dragon, not so much. I don't think they even existed at that point. The HRE was kind of, you know, trying to figure out its way, but we Frenchies, we were better. So I'm ready for a fight. <laughs> I like how there's just this stare down right now between the two. Chihuahua is also going for Herbal Med- Wait, what? Herbal Medicine coming out for the French. I did not expect to say that here. <laughs> He's also built... He's queued up four monks, and I don't think he's even going for the relic. Rams move in, though. Oh, my God, the keep! The two villager keep! Five rams versus all the defenses, and now the armies are going to fight. Here we go. Moving in the lag stick. Destroy him! Kratos! Like a hot knife through butter. Mm. And Chihuahua looking just as yellow as butter right here. Completely... Slap down. <laughs> the Rams. I mean, if only he was able to delay that fight. These Rams could have been doing God's work right now. Instead, they're going to get cleared up. Oh my God. My apologies, folks. We were so distracted by the Rams. I should have known that was coming. I mean, in fairness, we didn't miss it all, right? We literally just, if you looked away for a second, 20 Langsneck were going to make you miss everything. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'll 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 try to stay away from two times speed. 
if they're on the same side of the map as each other. Okay, we'll do two times whenever they are far, far away. And then we'll go one times whenever they're close. We need we need to figure out a formula for this, I think. Because obviously you don't want to watch like you don't want to watch it at one times when this is happening. Right? Like, there's only so much you can highlight they're doing. By the way, it's now five and a half thousand stone. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Kratos, the best part by the way, is if you just cancel these Langs next. He could actually have Imperial right now, but nope, Kratos don't fight like that. Kratos is now queuing up to go up to 30 lags decked. Oh my god. I, honestly, looking at this, I mean, all of the Dragon players, like at a high level, I think we know what they're doing wrong. Guildhall has been taken. He actually has it on wood right now. Because, of course, you know, this map doesn't have much wood. That was sarcasm. I really need to highlight that. He's coming back again. Chihuahua. He's loyal to the fight. Like a puppy. Uh, right now, though, he's going to be put down like a rabid dog. Lang skin. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Chihuahua. He's like, what? Maybe the issue was that you had monks. So now I have monks. But wait, why am I not winning? Why am I not golden? Why did you glow? <laughs> Chihuahua, down to 15 military. We are now also approaching 6,000 stone. Good lord. Please, tell me. <laughs> That's why the guild hall is on wood. He sends in the rams. The, the, the problem with what Chihuahua was doing here is, you know, most players would have probably went with the send the rams in when you're fighting the army maneuver, like he done the first time. But we have to remember that Chihuahua is a person of order, right? He likes to make sure he dedicates himself to a task and makes someone else dedicate to the, the task, right? Like, Giselle over here has been gathering this stone for quite some time right now. But she has a task. Never has to worry about it again. So let's see if Chihuahua's work process pays off here. Four rams, five, sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't think the work process is working. The Rams immediately go for the TC. <laughs> oh my god. Back to two times speed. <laughs> Tech up is coming. Wait, what? So Chihuahua gathers 6,000 stone and says, I don't need another castle, mate. I'm fine for castles, okay? I can build them when I want. Instead, they go for the College of Artillery. I... I this I did not see coming. <laughs> I thought we were looking at Red Palace OP here, but apparently Chihuahua thinks Red Palace is too OP. It's only fair to do this instead. College of Artillery build... Now, in fairness, folks, those splash damage cannon shots pack quite the punch against Gilded Langstack. So if he gets enough of them, he can win this. I swear to God, if this if this landmark gets built and nothing gets you, like if, if there's nothing being produced out of it, I'm going to, I'm just going to have a heart attack. I, wait for it. Oh. <laughs> He's not even using it. <laughs> I think Chihuahua probably just read it. He's like, mm, very good. Yep. No, I, yep. Mm, I, I, wow, this sounds very strong. 30% more damage. So all my all my units become royal, right? I've got royal sprinkles and royal trebit. No, Chihuahua, no. It doesn't work that way, buddy. Oh, pal. Now, what's an interesting thought here, actually, is like, is he going to... Please don't. I, my brain is like, please tell me he's not going to get gunpowder out of the university now. That would break my heart. Elsback Palace, by the way, is coming in from Kratos because Kratos has 50 villages. Why would he ever want more? He's completely content right now. The armies are escalating. We've got our first keep! 6,000 stone is what Chihuahua was waiting for. Because, you know, like, on a, think about it this way, guys. Like, when someone's like, you should try investing in, um, like, timeshares. You're like, pfft. Maybe, but 
I've only got £10,000 in the bank right now, and I, that would cost me £10,000. If I wait until I've got, like, £200,000, then I'm like, £10,000 isn't too bad to invest. So Chihuahua, they are just a frugal investor. They don't want to um, leave themselves with nothing left afterwards. And reminder, folks, if this is not quite looking like your game, or maybe if it is, this is a about 300 ELO average game. Like, at the time of recording, when this game was happening, they were... Let me pull it up again. So, Kratos, up in the north, was 323 ELO, and Chihuahua was 261 ELO when they had this fight. Alright, we need to speed up again, don't we? Elves back is complete. Are we getting more castles? We're getting more castles! Chihuahua's on the move. Guys, it's, it's a keep crawl. It's a keep crawl. It's a merely a keep crawl at 40 minutes into the game when Kratos has siege. But it's happening. <laughs> and yep, Kratos does indeed garrison his army. Because arrow slits cost stone, guys. And you can build more fortified outposts with that stone. So Kratos is just a smart cookie about this. They have six mangoes, though. Six mangoes and 17 Langsnack tier. Backstab coming in. Looks like he's gone for the trade again. Chihuahua. He really hates traders, doesn't he? He's disgusted by the idea of traders. So much that he's going to throw the entire army at a marketplace. That army might not get home though, folks. Chihuahua, you need to build more keeps. We More keeps. Keep building them. Keep building them right now because the army is going to get trapped. Chihuahua. A clicks into his death. Langsnick completely ignored. Oh, no. I mean, that is pure death. Chihuahua, everything should get wiped out here. The mangoes are not exactly premium targeting, but it still doesn't matter. Kratos now with a 3-1 to one military lead. <laughs> the Rams are coming again. Please, please just drop more keeps, Chihuahua. Yes, yes, Chihuahua. This is the way. <laughs> he can afford three more keeps, guys. Just keep it going. We're almost there. He's like, oh, you've only got one castle. Only one? Kratos is like, but I've, I've got a standing army. I've, I've got all these glowy units. Like, yeah, but you don't have more castles. Kratos is like, hmm, that's a fair point. You've got those really strong crossbow placements, right? 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 We don't talk about it. We have, however, got some pretty strong culverins. Oh, wait. Is he actually building... Oh, my God. He's building cannons out of the normal siege workshops. No. No. Come on. Why are you going to do this to yourself? Has he almost fit... <laughs> oh, my God. They got a partner. I mean, this is the last of the stone, right? It took them 42 minutes to get here. But they have gathered all the stone from their side of the map. Next up, enemy side of the map. Down to 2,000 stone, guys. That's not enough. Mango's marching out. Spriggles are going to be thrown away. The castles are here. And I, I believe... Wait, yeah, he's got bullet all coming in in 58 seconds. Oh, my God. The hesitation from Kratos. He panics and backs away immediately. <laughs> These mangonels are overkilling for one unit at a time. If they just hit these archers, instead they keep attacking knights. However, it doesn't matter. It's still good enough. Chihuahua now down to eight military. But don't worry, Chihuahua. You've got the keeps. The castles protect. Look at the damage they do. Very strong, very shiny. He's got level three ranged upgrade. Weirdly enough, Kratos, who's actually also an Imperial Agent, has mind work, hasn't got his level three techs at all. <laughs> Just one more keep. That's it. There we go, Chihuahua. Make them moves. Kratos, he's so scared he backs away. He's like, whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. He cancels the keep. What? What? I, I, I guess he feels like he needs to take it a bit slower. So, so Chihuahua is like, okay, no, the guys, once again, back off. I read history books. And in those history books, 
the Magano line was impenetrable. He also forgot to continue reading as to how they got around the Magano line, because right now this, this map's quite open on the flanks. <laughs> I mean, what is Kratos' plan here? Oh, wait, he's got trebuchets coming. Are the cannon baits him in? Okay. <laughs> So we have got Elite Knights, we've got hand cannoneers coming. Is this it? Is, is this how Chihuahua does it? The cannons are sniping down units, guys. We found the counter to them. Langsdeck, they're OP. Don't melee them. Just snipe them. <laughs> oh, look at Chihuahua with the micro, man. He's like, yep, follow me to your death. Oh, where do you think you're going? Die, scum. <laughs> but he needs to be fast, folks. The trebs are here now. It's six trebuchets. Can't, wait, he's trying to trade with the cannons. Oh my god. Chihuahua's like, but it's a cannon. Cannon beat Trebuch. No. I think Chihuahua is dead, guys. I, I think the Chihuahua has been taken to put down. Uh, taken <laughs> to be put down. GG immediately called Chihuahua. He doesn't understand. He's like, castles are meant to last years. Not an Age of Empires 4, my friend. <laughs> a bit of a funky game, but, you know, people asked for the low elo games. This is actually the lowest game of cars so far. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more of these type of games? Or do you need something a little bit more action-packed? I'll see you in the next chapter.